Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna change out the battery on my Fobo tire pressure monitoring. I came out to the garage to check my tire pressure and I noticed that the battery is all the way down on the front and the rear sensor. And the last time this thing updated was like three months ago on the front and just a few minutes ago on the rear. So I know it's because the battery is all the way down. If you purchase the Fobo, tire pressure monitoring. They came with the Maxwell battery and those batteries just don't seem to last as long. So I'm going to go back with the Duracell 1632. I'm going to put those back inside of the, the Phobos. So stay tuned to this video and I'm going to change out the front and the rear sensor on my Honda Goldwing. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the little tool that actually came inside of the Fobo tire pressure monitoring kit. Loosen the locking nut. And I just turned that tool clockwise. And that's just to back the nut off of the Fobo. So I'm going to loosen this sensor. There's the Fobo tire pressure monitoring sensor, and I'm gonna loosen the cap. This is a very easy install. That's the thing I like about these Fobos, is that the batteries are easy to change. On the original sensor that comes on the Honda Goldwing, you have to remove the tire off the rim just to access the Honda OEM uh, sensors. So as you can see, there's the battery and I'm going to replace it with the door cell 1632. And I'm going to take out this battery, slide it right out. There's the battery. I'm going to set that to the side. Take my door sale and I'll include a link where you can pick up a pack of these things online. There's a 1632. And these batteries are going to last longer, in my opinion, than those original batteries that came with the Fobo. Just going to open up the package. Best to take some scissors to just open it up. If anybody watching this video, how long have your Phobos battery lasted before you actually need it to change the battery? Be sure to put that down in the comment section below. So I want to take my sensor. I'm going to slide the new battery inside as you can see my sensor is going off i mean it recognized the battery as soon as i put a new battery inside of the sensor as you can see this thing is going haywire I'm going to tighten back down the locking nut with my little tool. I'm going to back that nut up to the sensor. I got a full green bar once I changed out the battery. So now I'm showing the actual pressure on the front. I'm showing 37.1. As you can see, I got a red battery on the rear. So let's change out the rear sensor.
Now that I'm on the rear, again, there's the low battery that is showing on the Fobo. I'm going to take my tool and turn the locking nut clockwise just a tad, just to back it off of the Fobo sensor. And now I can loosen the Fobo sensor. There is the locking nut. So once I change out this battery, it's immediately gonna recognize it on the Fobo app. So as you can see, it already recognized that I have zero PSIs because I removed the sensor. I'm gonna take off the, the cap on the Fobo. There is the original Maxwell battery. I'm gonna slide it out. Sit that down. I'm going to take my 16, my 1632. And I want to open up that battery. Always grab the battery off of the side. As soon as I put that battery in and screw it back on the valve stem, it's going to recognize the pressure within the Fobo app. So I'm going to install the battery. Put back my cap. Once I screw this sensor onto the valve stem, you're going to see the pressure recognized on the Fobo app. So just keep an eye on the rear tire pressure and it should start reading the pressure here in just a second. It's going to tell me exactly how many PSI's is in the rear tire. As you can see now it shows that I have 43.7 in the rear and 37.1 in the front. And it shows you the battery voltage. I'm, I'm showing 3.5 volts. Tire pressure 66 on the rear, 70 degrees on the front. So that's all it takes. So if you picked up the Fobo tire pressure monitoring and you find that your battery is low, I highly recommend going back with the Doracell 1632 to replace the original Maxwell battery that only seems to last a few months inside of the Fobo. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage, just changing out my Fobo sensors on my Honda Goldwing. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.